What's up everyone, it's OJ. Today we're gonna to be going over some basics on what you need to know about Sandy for strategy. And then we're gonna try her out a bit. So Sandy is a male legendary brawler. So that means you won't be getting him anytime soon unless you're real lucky. He has 5,600 health, putting him as the 10th tankiest brawler in the game to date. He's approaching tank territory, having 400 to 500 less health than Pam, 8-Bit, BB, and Carl, but tankier than Poco, Mortis, and Jean. With a move speed of 2.57 tiles per second, that's the same fast move speed that we'll see in Bull, El Primo, Daryl, Frank, Rosa, and BB without her home run bat. This may sound intimidating at first because Sandy seems to have a long range, but keep in mind that Daryl and Frank both move just as fast and they both do have a 6 tile attack range as well. Each attack deals up to 1260 damage. This is not a lot of damage, but it's not little damage. Put this into perspective, this is the same damage as Mortis. The attack has a piercing damage, meaning it'll hit multiple targets just like Poco or Frank's attacks do as well. So the splash kind of makes up for the lower damage. Sandy has a 1.8 second reload time. This is the exact same reload time as Jesse and Daryl, making him the 11th slowest attacker in the game or 19th fastest attacker in the game, depending on how you want to look at it. Are you half empty, half full kind of cup kind of person? Rankings don't really matter though. The average attack speed for brawlers in the game is 1.6 seconds. So with a 1.8 second attack speed, that ain't bad. Sometimes it's better to look at the median numbers. The median takes the most middle number in the center. In terms of attack speed, this is 1.7 seconds. I chose the median because it separates the highest and the lowest and it doesn't wreck the average. Just to give you guys some perspective, 1.8 seconds on Sandy is pretty decent. Sandstorm has a really large reach, spanning approximately 13 tiles long inside of the Sandstorm. All allies turn invisible. The Sandstorm Super can be charged in just 5 attacks. If you hit a cluster of brawlers, it'll be really easy to charge up fast. This invisibility mechanic is similar to Leon in that brawlers will only be able to see you if you're within a few tiles of their range. An eyeball pops up indicating that they can see you. You reveal your location to your opponents when you use your attack. It's like glimpses of the movement so you'll kind of get an idea of the direction the enemy Sandy is heading towards. Interestingly enough, bots don't see you, and therefore, you can hide from the Ike while constantly attacking. It doesn't break your invisibility. Basically, doing anything, like picking up the ball in Brawl Ball will reveal your invisibility. Just like Leon Super, you can't just ghost the ball into the net. Casting Sandstorm around the gem mine won't be too overpowered, because it turns out, when you pick up a gem, you reveal yourself. <laughs> When you take damage in that invisibility, you will be revealed. So really good counter brawlers will be really big splash ones that have really big area like Poco, Tick, or even Frank off the top of my head. But it's going to depend on the map. It's going to depend on the composition. With all of those basic mechanics, let's get into a game where mechanics don't even matter and real world situations are completely different. Sandy is a sleep deprived brawler with powerful control over sand, casting sharp pebbles at enemies and summoning a sandstorm to hide teammates. 5,600 health, 1260 damage, and a 12 second sandstorm. It's gonna be different. Look at that sandstorm, six tile range, charges up really fast. Oh! Look at that. It's just charged up immediately. Look, it even stacks. The distance of it stacks. That's beautiful. The range of this! Staying permanently invisible, kind of, not really. Let's do some undermine with this. So I think these bots are a bit sharper because I do have a thousand trophies. Bum, 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 bum. Brawlers will drop gems when defeated. Let's get, let's get that. Oh my goodness. I think the star power hurt me. That sandstorm is obnoxiously good. They can't escape that, oh my goodness. He doesn't know. He doesn't. We, he doesn't know we're here. Got him. I casted my sandstorm. Took him out. That's so money right there. My sandstorm's still alive. Wow, that's that duration is too long. Oh, it's a sandstorm fest. What in the world has happened? So I kind of have a feeling that it's gonna be a sandstorm fest because Sandy is so good. We're just gonna cast invisibility right there. Why not? This is a massive sandstorm fest. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Wait, if the Sandstorm deals damage and Sandy casts Sandstorm, it's gonna cancel each other out. That is goofy. Nope. Good thing I'm invisible. But look, the bots don't react when you're invisible. All right, let's finish this game real quick and then we'll get into the next mode. The bots are really wacky. They're really confused from this mechanic. All right, if we can just hold on to the gems, that'd be nice. Oh, freak! I don't like it. These bots are decent. Okay, they're not invisible when... Why did he cast it down there? Why do we have so many gems? Okay, yep, nope, I'm good. Maybe hit them once, okay. I'm just gonna hide here. I'm gonna go upwards, because they, they, don't, they don't, they like that. Bots are very confused. And that is how you get 20 gems. Just, I, I don't know. The Sandy's going back and forth. Showdown is next. Let's see how it goes. I thought Sandy was a girl at first. Bum, bum, bum. Pam is a bully. What the heck, Pam? What the heck? Just let me heal up, Pam. Wow. Collect power cubes from crates and enemies to grow stronger. Stay clear of the advancing poison clouds. Imagine if someone animated like that, I would quit the game. <laughs> so, they're all dying really fast. Where's the Pam that was messing with me? Why are they all dying so fast? What is this? I bet they were teaming, that's why. Oh! I'm so good! Literally didn't face any brawlers and they all just killed each other off. Let's check it out with heist. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 I just want to charge my super. Did that bar? Okay. I've got my super now. It was all really worth it. We put the super in. We're super invisible now. One hit, two hits. Going back invisible. Nope, 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 nope. These bots are like super confused. So it's not that much damage. I, I, I don't see value in hunting the safe. I can't do, like, maybe for ambushing allies? I mean, look at that. The star power is wicked strong. It almost took out the barley as well. And it, it really confuses the bots. This is a very bad example of real world situations that I was talking about earlier. It just really confuses them. Holy, look at that. As soon as I did an attack, they all swerved. They're all like, we ain't messing with that right now. Like, immediately. Ooh, ooh. I just need to charge one more. Okay, I'm good. They, they don't know what's hitting them. So, basically, with the bots, they kind of run away. They don't know what's hitting them. I like how Sandy doesn't have a victory or a loss dance. He's just sleepy all the time. He just wants to sleep. So even though I attack the bots and I kind of reveal my vision, they don't really see that because I'm still technically invisible. This is gonna be juicy for bounty. And the area is just so big. It's ridiculous. I love it. Too bad she's a legendary. I mean, it's good because I've got like 1200 boxes and like, oh no, save me. And I've got like a 0.48% chance of a legendary. Almost 0.5 too. What in the world? Why are we 210? I thought my bots were supposed to be decent. Okay, that Rosa, that Rosa is confused. Oh, beautiful. Nope, not so beautiful. Okay, we're 1416. I used my super. I wasted it because the tower is not utilizing it. It's fine. That Rosa though, we got to get rid of her. Oh, beautiful. Oh, the crow! Um... Being invisible is alright, I guess. Oh dear. They 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 don't see me. They they pretend that they don't see us. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Not when we're in the lead. Get Okay. I like how I can just hide against bots in the corner here. Um, but I'm not gonna hide, because that rose is gonna wreck me. I've got a pretty decent move speed. 
Don't catch up to me! All from Sandstorm. And last but not least, Brawl Ball. I can't show the other modes. If you saw Brawl Talk, you know what it is. Oh, so good. Uh, sure, pass to me. Wow. I am the best. Trick shot, learned that from Skonk. And did you see that? That distance to kill the Daryl? Nope, can't trick shot that one. I team wiped them though, so, you know, all me. We just gotta score one more time. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I like Sandy. I like Sandy. Boom. This is where we score. <laughs> Predictable, Daryl. Let's replay that. That is amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot about Siege. We gotta do Siege. Sandy star power is so great. I don't even want that bolt. Nah, I'm good. Can that Pam not though? Fine. Oh, it damages the turret too. I'm more curious to see how the bot reacts to invisible brawlers. Nah, he's just gonna walk past us. There's no point. Oh, perfect execution. Yes. Yes. Just like when you pick up the bolts, I'm sure you'll be, you'll reveal your visibility. But let's just backdoor. That Primo is so confused right now. And I guess got wrecked because I went within proximity of the Primo. Oh, we have five bolts. This is where we end it. Crow. Why'd you just jump in there, Crow? Y'all crazy. That Primo just jumped out of nothing. All right, here's what I really want to do, though. Because I just want to backdoor them. It's working. It's hurting the Ike. Oh! But not when they respawn. When they respawn, they get near me, and it reveals my invisibility. The Ike actually physically sees me. I'm going to go pre-invisible right now. Look at that. It's not even hitting me. Just spam it from here. Sandy is the bet. I'm actually really excited for this. I'm gonna open up all of my boxes. I've got 1,200 boxes, and we're gonna open them all up in the live build when this game comes out. The update should come out sometime this week. Hopefully, maybe. If everything goes according to plan, then it'll come out soon. We don't know the exact dates, but it's gonna be soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more quality OJ.